Welcome back, everyone. Alan Holt in with his forecast. That's and, right. uh, you know, this is a big day. The big Super day. Bowl. Um, and there's another big announcement. I just wish we had a drum roll for we it. A drum roll? A drum roll. Are you sure? If we could have a drum Why? roll. We have Groundhog Day. I, I think I it's a Groundhog some, Day. I have some sticks here. Has he made his there's prediction? There's a drum, too. All right, here we go. The drum roll provided by Alan Holt. And Punxsutawney Phil. What did he do? He saw his shadow. He saw his shadow oh. up there, and that, according to popular folklore, culture, means that six more weeks of winter are going to be upon us. Of course, that's just Junior Woodchuck Meteorology by Punxsutawney Phil there. This is how the stats actually break down. First, though, this is what the weather looks like up there. Uh, cloudy. I don't know how he saw his shadow up there. This is where Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania is. How did he see his shadow under all of that rain? I don't know. There must be some politics in this uh, year's Groundhog Day. Also um, of importance on this map, New York, where the Super Bowl is going to be played. You can see it right here. Some cloudy conditions there. It looks like the rain uh, should stay off to the west of New York for the game. Going to be in the 40s and 50s uh, in New York. So what does it mean, all of this Groundhog Day stuff? There is some uh, interesting facts about it. He's seen the shadow, Punxsutawney Phil, 101 times, only has not seen it. 17 times so it's very biased toward seeing the shadow and getting six more weeks of winter he's only right technically 39 percent of the time which is not very good my prediction on when spring is going to come march the 20th that's because that's the vernal equinox and the first day of spring is thursday march the 20th that's everywhere in the northern hemisphere this is the scientific long-range outlook for february march and april Going to be warmer than normal for the southern half of the United States up in the northern plains and upper Midwest might see some cooler than uh, average temperatures, but that's what the forecast is. That's from the National Weather Service right there, the long range outlook.